Okay, so um, we've gotten uh, text where we can change the color of the text and we can change the color of the background. Um, and I did say I wanted to uh, talk about, you know, how we can maybe um, adjust the length of this background so it, it's more reasonable um, given the text so we don't have all this uh, empty space over here. But um, before getting to that, actually, there's one other thing I want to do with backgrounds, which is um, looking at how we do a background image. So I'm going to actually use um, a background image from the, uh, the Joy of Code um, videos. Um, it's used in uh, the, the uh, Trick the Turtle example. Um, and that is, so, yeah, that's the joy of code, let's see. And it's, um, where are all those? Um, Oh, how to display text. There's a whole thing right here. On um, displaying text. But what else? I'm trying to find where I uh, got that from. Exactly. Um, oh, yeah. So, trick the turtle. Like maybe, oh, 29. There's one of the timers. But this is the guy. So, um, and, and there's a whole bunch of uh, Trick the Turtle videos from like uh, um, JOC number three through like 16. It's mostly all Trick the Turtle stuff, I think. But anyway, um, so that's the, the, um, the um, thing that I want to use for the images. Let me just, let me just uh, do a set image here. And see, I, I um, pulled that uh, counter.ping from, um, from the video. So let's say if I wanted to use that background and um, let's make a private color oh no private it's a greenfoot image isn't it greenfoot image um, and we'll call it background image um, And let's see. I guess the, the best way to do it would be because I want to optionally use it, right? Um, uh, so how do I decide if I'm gonna use that or not? Oh, okay. So. Um, What I can do is I can um, hmm. I think what I'll the way I'll I'll handle that one is that um because I want to do like this this setter getter business again. Um, set background image. Uh, 
green foot image image uh, this background image equals background image and have the getter in here too. Oh, it says to set the background image for the text. Um, image. Uh, image. And this wants to be image. Okay. So. I'll do that. Um, and I think what I'll, the way I'll do it is my, my, well, right now I'm just setting the image this way, right? But I have this, I have access to this other, like, uh, Greenfoot image. You know what? Um, I think what really makes sense might be. Well, maybe I could I could leave this one, but also have a. It'd be nice if I could just give a string that uh, gives the name of the image file, image file name. Let's say. Okay. And then what, what I could do is, um, just compile, yeah. Let me, let me just um, make sure, I look in Greenfoot documentation under Greenfoot image. Yeah, it looks like I can, I can create a Greenfoot image just with the file name. So, well, let me do it that way. So let's say here, um, so I have image file name. So this background image, I'll say, is a new green foot image using the image file name. So let's try that. And then um, let's get up here. So then how do we make that work if we want um, to have an image in here? Well, what we can do is um, I think the way to do it is to start with background image equal to null. So this background image equals null. And then um, if we have a background image, we'll use the background image. If we don't, we'll use the background color make that rectangle. So let's just say if background image is not equal to null, then we'll do the background image stuff. Else we will use the The, you know the fill with the background color so let's let's see so if the background image is not equal to null then let's um, let's just go ahead and um, mm, 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 mm. 
let's go ahead and set the image to new green foot image background image um, and then do the rest and two I wonder if that'll work I'm not a hundred percent sure here what's gonna happen okay so let's try um, creating one now the name of this file is counter.pin so let's see if I try making one um, let's just make a simple one with a oh look at that Put that there, it looks like that. Let's say, uh, I don't know, 72. I'm just gonna have a number in there. What happens? Okay, so it just has the 72, but now if I say set background image, and I'm gonna do it with the one with the string input and say counter dot ping. Yoink, now it's, it has a counter, okay? Now, um, there are things we can do, again, to center the uh, number in the, in the rectangle or in the image, and we'll talk about that one and that in the next video.